rise and shine for another new day, you wonder about that dream you just had. It seems so real, and it's not new. There's a high-speed chase, and before you know it, you're doing a Thelma and Louise falling over a cliff. Yikes. But phew, you wake up just before you land. What does this all mean? Well, we're here to find out, so stay tuned for our dream show on Revive Life. I'm naturopathic Dr. Joelle. Our quiz for you today begins with number one, you may only have one dream a night. Number two, girls tend to dream longer than boys. And number three, eating Stilton blue cheese just before bedtime is related to the most bizarre dreams. To get all your answers, let's start at the beginning. When you tuck yourself in for some Z's, you go through five sleep stages according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. During stage one, or the first five to 10 minutes of sleep, you're drifting off and you may experience dreamlike visual images, but they won't form a clear story. Because stage one doesn't repeat itself, some references refer to this as the preliminary phase, but not actually a sleep phase. The next four stages repeat themselves and last for about 90 to 120 minutes each. You spend about half your time in stage two, which is a light sleep with non-rapid eye movements and slower brain waves. Your muscles are relaxed, your body temperature lowers, and your heart rate slows. During stage three and four, you're also in non-rapid eye movement and your body's temperature drops even further, your brain waves descend to the extremely low delta frequency and your muscles totally relax. This is where the body's immune system goes to work on repairing the day's damage. The endocrine glands secrete growth hormones while blood is sent to the muscles to be reconditioned. In this stage, you are completely asleep. Dreams can occur in any of the four stages of sleep, but the most vivid and memorable dreams occur in the fifth stage of sleep where your eyes are in constant motion, hence known as rapid eye motion or REM or delta sleep. The onset of REM sleep occurs about 70 to 100 minutes after falling asleep. In this stage, brain waves remain in extremely low delta frequency. Your blood pressure rises, heart rate speeds up, respiration becomes erratic and brain activity increases. Your involuntary muscles also become paralyzed or immobilized. This stage is the most restorative part of your sleep. Your mind is being revitalized and emotions are being fine-tuned. The majority of your dreaming occurs in this stage. If you're awakened during this stage of sleep, you're more likely to remember your dreams. The sleep cycle repeats itself an average of about four to five times per night, but many repeat as many seven times. As the cycle repeats, you will spend less time in stages one to three and more time dreaming in stage four. In other words, it'll be quicker and quicker for you to get to stage four each time the cycle repeats. This is why a person can have several dreams in one night. Most people, however, only remember dreams that occur closer towards the morning when they are about to wake. But just because you can't remember those dreams do not mean they never happen. Some people believe that they simply do not dream when in reality they just don't remember their dreams. Most people spend about two hours every sleep cycle dreaming. So what are some snacks that can help get you in a good night's sleep ready for dreaming? Why not try some chamomile herbal tea? Chamomile herbal tea works best taken close to bedtime to induce sleep quickly. Almonds, these are rich in magnesium and magnesium helps to promote both sleep and muscle re relaxation. Why not try uh, a few, uh, about 14 or 15? or a tablespoon of um, almond butter before bed. And lastly, oatmeal. Oatmeal is rich in calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, silicon, and potassium. Nutrients are all known to help support sleep. But go easy on the sweeteners. Too much sugar before bed can have an anti-calming effect. Before we go into break, I've got a few items about health around town. As a follow-up to our anti-bullying show, we're glad to see um, the proposed anti-bullying uh, policy uh, proposed by the Liberals and PCs, which will give stronger signals that bullying is not acceptable. Uh, also as well, Health Canada, this is another interesting article, uh, it just talks about arsenic levels in juices. And so again, we want to think about what we're getting, especially processed things, and stick more to water. Um, because arsenic possibly can lead to health problems. So, 
Uh, lastly, around town, Greco on Spark Street is now open. Congratulations, and we will be right back. Thank you. Our next guest is a lifestyle and nutrition educator, coach and author. She's also an advisor with the Family Physio and Wellness Centers, is on the board of advisors for the American Fitness Professionals Association, and she writes a column in the kitchen uh, in the CanFit Pro Magazine. Who's this lovely, talented lady? Welcome, Terry, Terry Gentis. Nice to be here. Nice to see you again. Yeah, thanks. We're having a lot of fun in the kitchen before we actually got going. And uh, today's superfood is bananas. So you've prepared yes. this wonderful dish. What is this over here? We've got something melting. Okay, yeah. So banana we butter ice cream. It. <laughs> and what's really fun about banana butter ice cream is I love mm. to have recipes that are infused with fun, flavor, and nourishment. Yes. Most of us love food. You yes. love food? I love, love it. food. <laughs> and I love health. So it's yes. how do we find a good marriage with them. Banana butter ice cream is so healthy you can have it for breakfast. Oh. Now ooh. tell your kids that. Do you want to have ice they cream for breakfast love today? That. Okay, Kobe and Caden. <laughs> the components are bananas. Okay. A nut or seed butter. Yes. This particular one has sunflower butter in it. Really low, uh, lower in saturated fat, high in vitamin E, so yes. heart healthy, yeah, mood exactly. healthy, so that's really beneficial. And maple syrup. So most of us will have had bananas at breakfast, we might have maple syrup and a nut or seed butter. Excellent. And that's the essence here. What is also in here is some walnut oil. Oh. Really high in omega-3s. It's a beautiful bottle. Now this is Maison a local Orphy. company as well, they're, right? Yeah, they're they're from Quebec. Quebec City yes. and Amazon Orphe. Fabulous products. And walnut oil would be good for us also because of the omega-3 fatty acids? That's what I'm saying. Major yes. source of omega-3. Yeah. So okay. joints, mood, um, heart. Now, some people are afraid to have fat. So I what know. can we tell them about that? Oh, we, right? we went through the phase of low fat yeah, craze. Yeah, fat yeah. phobia has been yeah. huge. Yeah. When we're looking at the food that we eat, the more that we eat real food, my motto is real food, real health. Yes. So it's learning how to understand this is real food. There's nothing fake here. It's all real food components your body can recognize. Our body will resonate and be able to digest, assimilate, and properly utilize the nutrients of real food way more readily than anything fake. So fake fat tends to cause addiction, more cravings, yes. and we absolutely need fat. We do. The, the fat actually helps uh, in terms of us feeling um, satisfied. Abs it stops yes. our hunger cravings. Yes. It balances our hormones. So we need a little bit of the We, we really stuff. do. So it's just being mindful yeah, of it. So that's exactly. a great fat. Okay. So what are we going to make today? So We're, that's one of our feature recipes. Number two, we are going to make... It's, a, it's like a smoothie, call it frozen banana cream dream. Mm. Similar ingredients, so good for breakfast, pre and post fitness fueling, that's great for it, so would this be. Yes. And the essence here is frozen bananas, which are slightly softened, and we're looking for that. And again, bananas feature into our show today because yes. why? Well, that's going to be very beneficial to help you with your sleep quality, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. The magnesium, of course, is going to help our, us relax. And the... Uh, in our banana butter ice cream, using almond butter yes. would be really a nice alternative too. So it'd be, that'd exactly. be okay for a bedtime snack. That's right. Two yes. to three hours before though, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. And if anybody has hypoglycemia, the combination of having the protein with the fruit helps to uh, ease the rise and the fall of blood sugar. Exactly. Which can sometimes happen. So we've got these beautiful bananas, and you can freeze these too, this right? Is, yeah, these are yes. frozen. So I've just yeah. put them in a Ziploc bag, they're frozen. Yep. You can make like this without being frozen, but this is gonna make it really creamy like soft ice cream. Okay. You can use maple syrup in here, but mm -hmm. I like to stay as close to real food as possible. Yes. And maple syrup's better for us than refined sugar. That's right. But we can use dates. Love it. So I've got some. These aren't medjool. These are Iranian dates. Okay. Medjool or Iranian dates would be great. Mm -hmm. Depending on your sweetness, ideally ripe, ripe bananas here. You might not mm -hmm. even need any extra That's sugar. That's true, because the riper the banana, the more the sweetness sweeter. it has. So yes. this could be even a little bit riper than the particular one that's on display right now. So okay. Good. Then we put in a soy milk, a rice milk, an almond milk. Whatever people like. Yeah, sure. alternative. Approximately mm -hmm. half a cup. 
How are you? Do you measure things really no, accurately? No, no. Use your eye. <laughs> I Very love much to give like people that. ideas of how much they need, but really, I just pour. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. really, that's the basic essence okay. of it. If you want to and start then, giving yeah, it a glass, and then okay. we'll talk a bit about it. So blending. Love noise. Yes. <laughs> you can do this with a blender, but it's so much easier and easy on cleanup if you do it with this. So, you might want to tip it over a little bit and just sort of get in there. And that's good. Yes. And really, you can use any kind of tool. You can use one of these hand blenders. You can use a little a bullet, bullet. A magic bullet. Magic bullet. Or the big blender. I just got a ninja. Ninjas are oh, really that? great. Okay. They're actually, the blades go all the way up through the main um, shaft in the, the blender. Oh, Very really? cool. And no, I don't sell them. <laughs> okay. This looks beautiful. And it smells amazing. So vanilla would be great in here. Oh, yeah. If you choose to indulge, you could put dark rum in here as a nice Christmas drink. Yeah. So that would be a nice option yeah. for you, too. Exactly. So it's we're going to throw in a bit of uh, a little bit walnut, of walnut oil. oil. OK. Yeah, it's all about nutrient density because, uh, you know, if you are going to have a little bit to drink over the holidays, make sure it's balanced with other good stuff for you. Exactly. Yeah. OK. Now, we also have um, another treat over here. So this you could just easily whip up, put in a beautiful glass, have That's that exactly. to go. Do we have time to do that? We'll sure, that. yeah. Yeah, because this one's just a, uh, we're just going to show people what this one is. And so, so that would be it there. And then a little cinnamon, that shop of sugar of the bloodstream, and cocoa powder. Beautiful. Having Isn't it look pretty gorgeous? is nice. It is, absolutely. You've got another snack here. What is this? This is bananas, and there's two versions of it. This is a fresh mm -hmm. banana I chopped up and actually put it in a little Ziploc baggie that had chia cereal in it. Chia cereal, five times more calcium than milk. It's a yes. whole food, a raw food, a great source of iron. Fabulous to be uh, enzyme rich. That's right. Ruth comes out of Toronto. She does all different kinds of foods, you know, hemp seeds, the chia seeds, hemp protein powder, uh, ruthfoods.com. You can check it out. Okay. This one here is the chocolate chia. Okay. And I hope you're going to try all these. It's <laughs> I so <laughs> fun and yummy. Yeah.